Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got a fantastic rack. I've got Botanic. Will that play? The C can be a tricky tile to get on the board. But there will be some eights as well. Botanica and Abaction come to mind. Now, opponent plays. And Botanic does play because of BY. But what else do I have? V, not helpful. Envy takes an S in front. So Botanic is going to score the most. This is the only spot for it. But do I have anything through the E? Botanic is going to put a C in the middle of column 15. So this rack plus an E looks promising. Not seeing anything. What about the N? No, V, no, Y. No, I'm going with this. Botanic for 75. And I draw a balanced rack. I have a good scoring tile in the X. And I have some vowels to help play it. Now there is a hot X spot above the I of Botanic. So I've got Ox in that spot. But opponent may well take that if he plays through the C. Where else do I have? Okay, so opponent just 36, which is fine. Could have been a lot worse. My X spot has gone. Unless I can play in row F, ending X, A. So ending Oxa or Ixa. Do I have such a play? What goes above the R? The Y does. I'm not seeing one. Okay, so that super hot X spot not available. What can I do? Well, I can get rid of the X and the Y, which I'd quite like to do. With Oxy for 35. Pretty grim rack leave. And Oxy takes a ton of front hooks. Ah, that's 35. What about playing it here? 45. Well, that's a lot better. And I'm taking out floaters. What can I do about this rack leave? Not very much. I think getting rid of the Y is quite handy. An alternative would be getting rid of G and U, but I can't see a way of playing the X with G and U. I am going with this. OK, well, that's not a million miles away from a bingo. Close to religieux. What am I missing for that? E and X. OK, close. Is there an 8? I'm not seeing a 7. What about the N? No, I have the ING ending, but that's not suggesting anything to me. I would have guiltier through a T. Oh, wow, I've just blocked that. OK, what about down from the V? Not seeing an 8. And no scoring tiles. Now, opponents played... Not created anything massive, scored 27 points. Bai takes an A in front. I don't have one of those. Peace takes Dis in front. Do I really not have a bingo? I've got the I-E-R ending. And how about the N? That looks like it goes well with this rack. Riguline, Ligurine, not good. OK, so I'm not seeing anything. I would like to play off G, U and I. Do I have a double double in column 11? Not necessarily a bingo.
Nope, not seeing one. So I could do this, I could play Guile. Only 14 points. Sorting the rack out, taking out floaters. Row H not massively hot. I do still lead by a slender margin and both blanks to come. Okay, not great. A long way from a bingo and still no A for A, B, Y. Nothing goes in front of T, O. So if I had an A, that would be a hot spot. I could play four. I don't have anything which goes in front of you, but not many things do. I have a... Oh, wow. Super bingo for opponent, including the blank. I cannot reply in kind, although I note I have ING. So I have wifing, but for a very low score. I have writing for a better score, retaining the F. I'd like to get rid of W and F. Now, I was considering ELF, but can I get that to play twice? Net is good. That's it. So FT. No. What about playing from the left-hand side of ELF? No. Okay, so that's a false hoop. What about writing? A low score, but I only trail by 30. 24 points, that's not bad. Can I get any value in column 8? I have info. 21 points. I'm really looking for a way of playing off W and F. Both of them are non bingo -y. I would have Wi-Fi onto an E. None available. Wi-Fi not good. I have wife in column 13. Putting a W. Wow, what about wife? How terrible is this? It's 20 points, but this rack leave is good. An opponent must be drawn to row A. It's hard to put a scoring tile to the left of the W. Access to triple word squares in the top row is already provided by the O. And any play by opponent top right is going to leave the G alone for my ING ending. I am going with this. So, I'm not sure this has paid off. I don't think bratting is good. What about the U? No. Wow, how irksome. And another bingo from opponent. 83 points. Back-to-back -back bingos. Brutal. And I, I now trail by a hundred. The bratting spot has been removed. Not seeing anything with the U, although it feels close. It's the B that's non bingo -y. Any play through L or O is also going to have to go through G and U. So what if it ended ING? Brattling, I think, is good, but the L's in the wrong spot. Okay, do I have anything with the W? I have WAB, 24 points. That's not great. But I do need to play off the B. I have Bran in row H. 27 points. That's not bad. Keeping double T though. 12 minutes on my clock. Do I really not have a bingo? What haven't I considered? Well, there's the I. I have the anti-prefix with BRT. Axe for a nine, two for a nine. N-E. No, E-L. 
No, I'm not seeing anything. So I'm thinking about Bran. 27 points. What about a play getting the B triples? And what about playing just B and T, leaving train? The danger of that is that you're sacrificing a lot of points and you have a succession of fishes which just leave you further and further behind. 11 minutes on my clock. But TIT just doesn't feel like a great rack leave. Bint is still valid in ISC. What about this for 19 points? Art is a much better rack leave. I have an A for going underneath at. I feel this is better. It's not a great score, but the rack leave is a lot better. I was thinking about WAB for five more points. Keeping Trint, I think this is a better rack leave. And row E, pretty hot, seven letter lane with D and O. Am I sure I didn't have a bingo or don't have a bingo? I have Tribant. No, I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't like it, but I'm going with this. Oh, wow, dreadful pickup. But I have Raj and Joe. Fantastic. And I probably had an AB play last turn. So I could have played Tab at last turn. Oh well. What if that spot is blocked? And it's not. Fantastic. And only 30 points for opponent. Now Raj or Taj. Well, this is a grim rack lead, but I'm getting 59 points. Wow, it's just not clear to me whether Raj or Taj is better. I think double R is better than double T. Yeah, I am. Am I going with this? This is 59 points. I could play Junta, well, using the same tiles for 40, so that's not better than Taj. And I'm not seeing anything in column 4. I am going with this. Well, I trail by 50, but look at this. Seven consonants and no scoring tiles. Do I change? Well, I'm going... I would like to play off four consonants. If I can do, I will. So I can play Grant. That stays available. Wow, opponent's just continuing to score. But I think this is better than changing. It's, well, 12 points. Good grief. LRT, not a fantastic rack lead, but if I change... Well, I get zero points rather than 12, so this is better than changing. But can I do better than Grant? What about column four through this double letter square for a small increase? No, not seeing anything. Yeah, and no other vowels suggest a decent play. I am going with this. Well, all bingoy tiles, but with duplicates. And I trail by a bingo, but opponent on turn, so I'm up against it. G may tempt opponent to take out these triple word squares with a non-bingo for a lowly score. I do have an A for Ita. Well, and an I for Uni. Git is good. Do I have any TIA words? I don't think I do. 
I have Axilla, and that's tempting. It's going to score half decently, and it's going to open the board up. Axilla, I think, takes E and S. Only 26 points, but that may be enough to keep me one bingos away from opponent. Still 25 tiles to come, including the blank, and also including the Q and the Z. Grant has taken out row E as a bingo lane. Dort and Dost were both good. Great, just 18 points. That's what I was hoping would happen. And I trail by 80. So I like Axilla. The rack leave is good. And I'm creating new floaters and a new lane. Axilla for 26. Well, U and F non bingo -y and no E. Look at this, all four S's still to come. Wow. And I think Axilla takes, takes an S. So I have fruit with A, R, not seeing a bingo. C is a bingo floater. Great, just 30 for opponent. I still feel I'm within, within reach of opponent, but only just. So I would like to get rid of F and U. Can I do that? I'm, I'm drawn to this. Oh, because my F can go there. Am I sure I don't have a bingo? There's a floating A. No. What else is there? Is N E? No. C. No. Don't don't know of any front extensions for gunk. There probably is none. So, is FLUR good? I meant to, meant to do this down here. It's not. So what I could do is flirt. 26 points is decent. This is the last U, and there's a Q to come. I'm not hanging on to the U, but it's not as bad a tile to have on my rack as it otherwise might be. I like turning over four tiles with the blank to come. I'm going with this. Well, U and W are a bad combo, so I'm not seeing a bingo here, but it's balanced, no duplicates. 12 tiles to come, and I trail by 64 points. Surely opponent has an S. But if he makes a play ending an S, he'll be creating a new lane in row N. How can I get rid of W and U? Not easily. <laughs> opponent changes. Well, I guess he's... Perhaps got the queue. Six minutes on my clock. I would have unwarmed through an N. Now I have Dwarm on my rack. And that does play. Interesting. And without setting anything up. I have Dwarm for 20. Decent rack leave. I need to dodge the queue. Definitely not worth hanging on to the U for for the Q. And I may need the Q to be on opponent's rack to win, but this is 20 points. Dwam is good if I did want to hang on to the U. Let me count the remaining vowels. 8 out of 19. Well, I still think it's better to play the U. I trail by so much that I really need to rely on luck from the Tile Fairy in terms of what I draw, but this game is still winnable with the right draw. But is 20 the best I can get for Dwarm? Just wondering if Axilla takes an R. Wow, 
Let me check this. It does. Now, how does that change, change things? Yeah, what about doing this? Ward, 42 points. I, I'm going with this, although M isn't as good as RE. This is a decent score. And if opponent makes a play in row N, there'll be access to row O. I'm going with this. And I dodge the Q. Fantastic. I have an S. I don't think I have a bingo here, but let me consider the floaters. Firstly, the C. Not seeing anything there. Seven letter lanes in rows L and N. Not seeing anything. Ward is nice because it stopped opponent scoring with the R and the T. Now, fantastic bingo for opponent, which secures the win for them. Empties the bag, draws the Q and the blank. Interesting. If I had the blank on my rack and I was able to bingo now, it's possible that the Q on opponent's rack would enable me to win. So I think the plan was sound, but I did need to draw the blank and I haven't. So I would get 28 points if I could go out with this rack. So I would need to go out and score 87 to draw. Can I do that? Pretty unlikely. Where would that play? So not seeing anything with the C. What about these two letter sets, GI? No. UN? No. And that's it. So I'm abandoning... What about the T? Could end in S or R. Well, I don't have an R, would need to end in S, could end ties. Oh, so close, Dimites is good, but I would need three I's for that. Oh, wow, I have itemized, but the T is in the wrong spot and I'm not seeing any anagrams. So I'm turning my attention now to row O. No, I'm not. Two minutes on my clock. Is opponent stuck with the Q? Probably not with the blank. But let me just check that. So he's got cat. Where else can opponent play the Q? And cheese and cheese in row K. So I can't stick opponent with the Q. So what can I score in row O? And I'm going to have two goes at going out. So supposing it, it goes like this. I don't I don't I don't think diem is good. One minute on my clock. I could play Eames for forty one, then I would have BD in column two. Do I have a second out? Well, I don't. But is opponent really going to play cheese in row K? One minute on my clock, 14 on opponents. Eames for 41. So the S is scoring six points. Well, I'm running out of time. Well, I've still got 30 seconds. What about playing Meads instead? 45 points. Am I going out with double I? 
I read, yeah, I'm going with this. Oh, WES not good, of course. And I have IRIDs and oh, I was going to say IBIS, but no. I have is it onto the T, so I am going out with this. Twenty-eight for opponent, eleven seconds on my clock. So I have IRID here. Oh, I writs, I meant to say. Oh, good grief, I I forgot that I had the S on my rack. It's a bit of bit appalling. Let me just put that back. Opponent must be wondering what I was thinking of. I think it was because I'd thought of playing Meads that I thought I had that S, so that was a, a poor end to the game, but it didn't affect the outcome. And the final score, 381 for me, 496 for opponent, a winning margin of 115 points, so well done to opponent. Let's see what I missed. Wow, what a game. Great scoring from opponent, nearly 500 points. So it was opponent to go first with the blank, plays Envy. And I have Botanic for 75, so a good start. Opponent plays Peace. Now H11, Oxy, that was my play and I like it. <coughs> Missed bingo from opponent, whomever, difficult one to see, plays Omar. Phew, no miss bingo here. Interesting, Loma is good, so I had relax, but with an awful rack leave. I play Guile for 14 and I like that. Opponent does now find their bingo and it's a good one with overheat. And I trail by 30. So this is what I was considering, writing. Nothing else scored more. And I went with wife because it burnt the F and left a decent rack leave. But look at this for seven random tiles. Absolutely fantastic. Back to back bingos for opponent. And now I trail by 100. Phew, no miss bingo here. This is the tab spot, which I'd been eyeing up on all the racks I didn't have an A and I should have done that instead I played Bint for 10 fewer points wow yeah Tab would have been the play great spot of unawed by opponent not many words with U and W now my miss from last turn has paid off because I have Raj and Taj this turn and I trail by 50 Opponent plays Aha, and, well, I'm still a bingo away from opponent, but with an awful rack. Oh, God, I didn't think of that. E5 and Dolt. Yeah, that would have been nice. Instead, I played Grant for three fewer points. Well, I think LRT probably better than N double T, so not much between those. Opponent plays Gung. And, oh, interesting, because Axilla does take an R, probably should have played it, played it this turn. Difficult to say. I think Axilla takes E, R, and, and S, and there's a lot of those out there. So probably playing the R on my turn would have been better. I'm going to play Zol. Now K8. Frail. Yeah, that's nice for 31. What do I do? I play Flirt for 26, so I think Frail would have been a better play. Opponent with the Q from a long way out changes the Q. And I play Ward for 42. Could have got two more points, retaining the U. And retaining the R as well, so possibly Wamed a better play. Now, great play by opponent, a choice of bingos, plays priests. And here we are, the end of the game. I need about 87 points to win. But no bingo available. 03 demis, that's nice for 42. I play mead. Opponent plays souk for 28. And now I have irids. And foolishly play irid instead. So that was my bad. And opponent goes out. 
So what a game. Absolutely fantastic stuff. I got off to a great start with with Botanic. But opponent comes back with back-to-back -back bingos of Overheap and Cloaked. And I trail by a bingo, which remains the story for the remainder of the game. But plenty of interesting racks to consider. So many congratulations once again to opponent on their victory. I hope you enjoyed watching that game. Like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you.